Hey guys, it's me and it's Monday and I had no intentions on making a video today. Hold on just a second. Hey Will, do you need to go buy a baby? I actually have another video that I did yesterday. Yes, yesterday that I have edited that I had planned on putting up tonight. So I don't know which one will go up first. But I was shopping on Sephora and I didn't, I had never heard of this. I know I'm always like behind the curve on this stuff. But I saw this makeup by Mario, and I the only thing I ordered was this palette, which is the matte palette. So I could not believe, I don't know when I ordered this stuff. Let me see, just out of my own curiosity here. Um, does it give the order date on this? It says 10-1, so I ordered it October 1st. I was surprised that it got here so quick. So I was thinking, okay, well, I'll use this today. I didn't have any real big plans. And I went out to the mailbox and got it. Here it is, and I, I used my typical Laura Mercier Eye Basics, and I was, yet again, blown away. How have we gotten two fabulous eye palettes in the same, like, month? So, I was thinking, that I, you know, used a little bit, used this color, used that color, and then when I went and put this color, the cream color, on my lids, I was like, that's it. I've got to tell you guys how good this is, how easily it went on. I felt like Candy Johnson, you know how she would just, you can't even keep up with what she's doing because she's dabbing and everything and then it comes out looking like a painting. That's how I felt. I felt like I could do no wrong with this palette. Right then, I decided to not, I'd already done my liner, but I decided to use my just mascara with the most oomph and not wear lashes because I wanted you to be able to see these shadows. They're beautiful. So if you feel left out because the, I know Tammy did not like the Denona Glam palette because she's not into cool tones. And I have used it, I think, every day since I've gotten it. I mean, there's just I can just pick up that palette and go. I can create so many different looks. I mean, I can be much cooler toned. I can be, you know, more neutral, but there really isn't a warm tone in there. So if you had this palette and that palette, and I fully intend on getting the, I just pulled it up and now I've already, let me see if I can, yeah, here it is. I want to get today after this video, I, or I might even have it in my cart. Yep, I already have the Master Metallics to go with it, and I just can't wait to try those. So I thought I would do something that I don't typically do because it's just not my thing, but I thought I would swatch every color for you. The palettes are $48, and let's see here. Let me get back to Makeup by Mario. Do you guys like him? I've always kind of liked him. I like how he's kind of... He reminds me a little bit of Wayne Goss. He's kind of like understated. He's not over the top. I don't feel like he's boastful. I don't feel like when I see him, which would probably be mostly doing, you know, Kim Kardashian's makeup, which I will forever be a fan. He doesn't try to be the star of the show. You know what I mean? So I really just like him. So I was glad to support him, and I think he has a really good story, like a rags to riches type story too. It's $48, and let's see, a palette with 12 universal matte shadows that deliver smooth, luxurious, high blendable color. Very true, very blendable. The Timeless palette offers superior grip and adherence with minimal fallout for the cleanest application. You know how important that is to me. I do not like a bunch of fallout. Okay, so now let's see ingredients and see if they tell you the, um, I don't know. Do you guys really like it when somebody tells you the ounces? Oh, I just saw this too down here, the Natasha Denona Camel Palette. That is immediately, immediately what I thought of. If you like the Camel Palette, if you like MAC Uninterrupted Shadow or Soba or Saddle, or Bobby Brown. What is the one by Bobby Brown? I'll put the, you know, I'm disappointed in myself for not knowing that. 
right down here. I can't remember what it's called. Then you will love this. But then it also has those really sexy tones like Scott Barnes used on Tati in the J-Lo look. Sorry, my FedEx guy's here and you know that that gets my attention. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so here we go. Let's start. I've got my microfiber here and I have my wipes over here and let's do some swatching. Okay, I got a rodeal package. I tell you, rodeal, Charlotte Tilbury, and City Beauty. I am going to just do a whole video, or maybe I'll put it in my favorites, about City Beauty. I want to talk to him on the phone and find out more about that company because I've been very, very impressed. Let's anyway. go with the top line. Get my fingers. Okay. This whitish color. This is the color I started off with. It's kind of just like a tan. This color. Oh my goodness. That's the color that did it for me on my lids. And then this color on the end. So... I don't know where's the best place. Let me think of the best place to swatch. Oh gosh, should we pull a Tati? I've missed Tati. Let's pull a Tati. Okay. You can see that color, how pretty it is. Okay. So, and I will try to zoom in and get those. Oh my goodness, you guys, that one color was just like got my heart. Who would have thought a cr matte cream color? would get me okay so now let's do this one this one this one and this one see how pretty they are see how smooth okay so and see how they have like that I always love that chocolate milk tone sorry I should have done them one at a time there's like your reddish tone. Oh, so pretty. Okay, I need to start going back on the other side of my arm. Let me wipe these off. Okay, so here comes the darkest row. Tammy, I'm going to tell her today she's got to get this palette. And then she can tell you how she feels about it. Because Tammy and I like um, a little bit different, you know. She likes much warmer tones. I like much cooler tones. She blends a lot more than I do. She likes more of a blended look. I like a crease, you know what I mean? So it'll be interesting to see what she thinks too. Okay, so here's this reddish color at the bottom, so pretty. They're all very smooth and notice like little to no dust up. This is like a good almost black brown, kind of like a good charcoal, you know, brown. And then this is black. So look at those. Okay, so let me try to find a good place. I'm gonna come down a little bit. But you can see how smooth they are. It is just beautiful oh i think it's worth it if you want a new eyeshadow palette that is just so i mean those colors i haven't even used those and then those are mid-tones just gorgeous so let's see good adherence now is there anything else i wanted to tell you about i got some other stuff in that haul but I will wait until I use it. I did use one of the Goss blushes. Beautiful, beautiful. This is my next favorite from the Coral Rose, and I will put the name down below, but it's the one with kind of like the icy cotton candy unicorn kind of highlight, but it doesn't come off that way. It just gives you like fresh cheekbones. And today, let me go ahead and do a very casual at home go nowhere. Will has a dentist appointment, but I'll, all I do is take him in and check him in and I have to go back to the car. So I'm just doing kind of a non-eventful outfit of the day. And so you'll get to see the real thing. No earrings, no rings yet. Hold on. 
Okay, so I've got on my Uggs that look like slippers, and I do wear them around the house, but they are like real shoes. They have a complete sole on them, and I plan on getting another pair. I was going to get a lighter pair, but I really, I think I'm going to stick with either, I think I'm going to stick with black because they just go with everything, and um, I wear these out all the time, like not necessarily to the grocery store or anything like that, but like when I'm just going out to go get something or whatever, they're just nice to have and they're good for the wintertime pedicure. And then these pants, you guys remember, I paid up for these and they're so worth it. They are the Champion sweatpants. Brooke has a pair that are Nike that look nice like this too, but I love these. And then this is one of the bodysuits from Abercrombie, love it. This one is in the medium and I would not go down to the small. I was so thankful that it came up and didn't. I, I, matter of fact, I tried it on with the tags in case I had to send it back, but it was a pleasant surprise. I think because it's just a little bit too big, it came up nice on me. And then my purse that I have loved so much and I found a black one. So if you would rather have this in black, I will link it down below. It's killing me not to get the black one, but I swear this one goes with everything. My regular accessories, I wear this every day. Um, this is on my Lisa's list on Oliver and you get 15% off of the whole website. And that's it. My nail polish is Gucci. You will see it in my video, depending on which one I post first. But this is the Gucci, and it is Myra Crimson. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go right now and get that palette. I really, really think that you will enjoy it. I think I remember seeing that they, it's supposed to be so creamy and everything that you don't even need an eyeshadow base. I just particularly like the eye basics. So thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.